Welcome back everyone to another episode of your daily dose. We have a new account showcasing on the channel. Everyone welcome Gangaloo. We're going to call him Gang or they Gang. Old mate Gang over here is rocking a VIP 15. A VIP 15 account. No small amount of money being spent. No. <laughs> and it's pretty cool. I was just looking before. That's pretty cool. We have Lu Meng. Um, they actually managed to get the packages that have the outfits of Lu Meng. And by far, this is like a badass uh, outfit. I am not going to lie. That looks pretty cool. Of course, running Mori and uh, Oda. I believe this would definitely be classified as a Wu account. And as you can probably tell, we are going to be showcasing the newest uh, Divine Weapon. And that is going to be on Big Mama Q. Now, this one, I do believe, is specifically meant for the Generation 5 heroes. Um, that's my opinion, anyway. <laughs> or, oh, sorry, the Generation 6 heroes. So, it's definitely going to be a support-based uh, weapon. But, as you can see, we do have a 5-star alluring Big Mama Q. And we do have a 4-star um, yin and yang weapon, but man, Lu Ming looks pretty awesome, not gonna lie. Oh, running the sky piercer on this guy as well, that's pretty cool too. And of course, we, uh, you can't, you can't forget this guy. Can't forget Sun Jiang, he does have the Jade Halberd, and that's pretty cool as well. Um, what should we do though, what should we do? Kind of want to keep it, um, you know, fairly reasonable in length of times. Is there anything that we can compete in? Oh, yes, we can do some Dragon Raid. Oh, sorry, Demon Raid, Dragon Raid. We can do some Demon Raids and then we can do some PvP action as well. So, I think we can buy like two attempts. Um, hmm. Okay, so I guess this is like the premium setup. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just jump into it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm assuming this was already set up uh, previously for uh, Demon's Raid. Makes sense. Uh, of course, going to see some big numbers. Chao P, very good uh, selection for a Wu Nation. Hmm. Got the deer, got the dragon. Let's just speed this up real quick. Hmm. I feel like they're just going to melt. <laughs> I don't even know if they're going to even get any attacks on them. That's crazy. I mean, technically, it still goes all the way around to like round five. Let's check this one out, though. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know, though, because it's it would be very hard to showcase the yin yang for this one. Uh... But, in saying that, let's just see just how much damage this thing can do. Oda, of course, is probably still going to be, like, rocking it for this game mode. <clears throat> let's skip ahead. Let's check it out. Okay. All right. Well, Big Mama Q, of course, is a support hero, but still doing a, a decent amount of healing. I quite like that. Lu Ming, yeah. Oda, still pretty relevant for Demon Raid. Um, interesting, though. Very interesting. Very interesting. I mean, Murray is still up there, which is quite nice to see. Um, good alternative to Oda? No, I don't know. Maybe not a great alternative to Oda. Um, you do actually have the Draconic Impact Charm, too, which is pretty awesome as well. Interesting. Interesting. Let's start at one full HP. Let's see if we can rotate and kill this one. I probably would say yes. <laughs> but we might be able to do a little bit more damage. Um, also, you know, I always love to see Lu Ming do some uh, solid DT DPS as well as uh, Nobunaga, which is, I, I always love that. I always love to see some big numbers. Hmm. <laughs> wow, Sun Jiang is like, not today, buddy. Not today, Dao Chan. You won't be killing anyone. 
And look, I mean, she still does pretty good, like, uh, for a support feature. Um, yeah, interesting. Very interesting. Lu Ming should be able to uh, do some huge damage later on, I think. Although, does he really? Ah, oh, that's confusing. Because so I have to think, like, because Lu Ming, like, does more damage uh, with targets that are lower HP. So I wonder if it still counts because he got zero HP. Anyway, again, well, of course, Lu Ming is, is still up there. But Oda, of course, stealing the show. Very cool. Very cool. Well, we kind of already understood that the conclusion of it is a support weapon. Um, Demon Ray would have been nice to test out in terms of being able to see what that would do. But obviously, obviously that wasn't the case because they couldn't kill you. So we couldn't really see the effects uh, proccing. So for this one, what we're going to do though is we're going to slot you in slot one. Um, we can probably try and keep it like this because, you know, it works that way. What we are going to try and fight is someone with two trillion power, which will be fantastic. Can we find someone around two trillion? You have hollow on this account. I think you used to well back in the day. Um, this guy, this guy be close and this guy be close. Let's try this guy. True king. Everyone's like, Shoe Nation. And I'm like, yeah, but wait. <laughs> Next generation. Let's see who still rules. Um, but as you saw in the very beginning of the video, the yin and yang did proc. So Big Bummer Q, I think, is the yin. And the yang is Lu Meng. Or vice versa. I have no idea which one's which. But you did see the two symbols float over each of the health. Um... So it'll be interesting to see if Looming takes some damage, uh, whether or not that conversion rate happens. Interesting. Interesting. I like it. Me likey. <laughs> Me likey a lot. Although, my bad, I thought this was a shoe nation. I got confused. That war god, you're always confusing me, buddy. No, it's actually a Way Nation account. Interesting. Did you have Xiao Ji? I have to pay attention next time. Hmm. You do have Xiao Ji, but do you have Xing Ji? Jeez, I'm going to get confused with all these name changes. Hey, yo. That's a huge one. <laughs> I love the fact that that combo charm also does a stun ability, which is quite annoying, especially if you do it slot one. Um, although, I mean, let's be honest, all the whales and abilities these days kind of repel stuns, but, you know, it is what it is, right? Ooh, wow. Tatsue just... Old mate Greedy gets wiping out the back row there. That was crazy. It came back to life. <laughs> uh, all right it's going to be a slow fight we all know that Wu is always a slow fight i feel like lu ming could only attack the back row i think uh maybe not i think he attacks the lowest two hps paralysis very cool i have a feeling you're not going to be able to kill any of us though uh, the reflection damage is probably going to kill you too. <laughs> uh, Wu Nation. Uh, okay. All right. All right. But Jiao Dun, I mean, he's got a six star Jiao Dun. That's pretty cool. Somebody's been saving up for arms race. Um, oh yeah, that's, that was a cool little, uh, combo charm there. Don't see that a lot. And we managed to put them away. Alluring big mama Q. What in the actual F was that? Two none. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, you're just showing off a little bit now, are you? Huh? Huh? And interestingly enough, um, Xiao Pi, his MC, did quite a decent amount of um damage as well, which is kind of cool. But look at that. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I mean, the weapon. Is it the weapon or is it just Big Mama Q? <laughs> I'm not entirely sure about that one. Did you build the next one? 
I don't think you did. No, you're not rocking that one. All right, True King, you can chill out for a bit. Let's go fight someone a little bit stronger. Let's see if we can replicate that. Of course, you know, Big Mum Q is going to do an AoE ability and the charm does do AoE damage as well. Um, let's watch for the little symbols that will pop up above her head. Yep, so it is always going to be Lu Meng and Big Mummy Q for this account. Interesting, very interesting. Oh, he has an evade ability. You have to love that about old mate Lu. <laughs> um, would I run him like as the MC? Possibly. Double, uh, double Lu would be interesting on this account. Just for the passive ability to give that um, evasion. Uh, technically, would be pretty cool. Glass, as well as the lure. I mean, she's just so broken. She's way too broken. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Zhao Un. Zhao Un wanting to kill uh, old mate Mori in the back row. Get out of here with that. Hey, uh, Sun Jiang is just a monster with that uh, Jade Halberd. Um, I think it's the Dragon Blade. I can't remember. I just call it Jade Howard because it's a Jade Howard. But we all know where that came from. Guan Yu. All right, let's see. Ooh, I mean, he did some damage. Yeah, all right, okay. I respect that. Wei Yang in the back row doing some heavy work. Let's see if uh, Lu Meng answers. He did. And he killed someone. I'll respect that. Of course, the dispel and the stuns are going to be peeing everybody off. <laughs> but I feel like Lu Meng's probably just going to... He's probably going to carry. I'd say he's probably going to carry. Yeah. He's probably going to carry this round. Unfortunately, Oda just doesn't stay alive and neither does Mori a lot. It's it's kind of odd. I mean, technically their support by their DPS, it's it's tricky. How do you gauge a time hero? It's, it's kind of hard. You can't really stick them all in the same category. They kind of, they have too much functionality. Ying and Yang, we got the shields though. I believe that's what procs some of the shielding that we just saw. Interesting, got muted. We haven't had to um, do the damage swap yet, uh, which of course is anything that is linked with the yin and yang feature. <laughs> Basically, Big Mama Q would mitigate Lu Meng's damage to keep him alive, but she died. So, <laughs> uh, and like I always say in the videos, okay, if if you're a Shu Nation player and your Zhao Yun dies, it's game over. There is no coming back from that. Realistically, Wei Yan might save your bacon, but Shu Nation is really all about Xiao Un. Um, is he really great? Yeah, sure, he does solid damage. I'm never going to say that he doesn't, but the problem with starting and creating that, that carry hero, I mean, it goes back to the beginning of the game with Lu Bu, okay? It's like, it's never a good idea just to have one solid carry hero. And I think that's probably why other nations are going to outshine Shu, even with Marshall, because anyone can run Marshall. Doesn't really matter. Marshall can be run by anyone. And I feel like a lot of players don't realize that. Like when you get to the God tier, run Marshall. So it's not really about nations anymore. It's just about characters, which is kind of, it's interesting. Let's find Azua. What do you got? Oh, interesting. Very interesting. I don't know what the hell you're running. Are you running a hybrid nation? You've got a Zhao Un. That's why I was confused. You've got... Okay. Cool. So this person's running uh, a hybrid nation. Um, cool. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it works. I probably would still run Gong Sung in slot one, but I mean, it works. I think you're going to... Ah, uh, yeah. They're a little bit too strong. <laughs> I'm like looking at like, a little bit too strong. Uh, when, when you see the, uh, the guys kill you before anyone even starts to fight, that's, you know, it's not going to be a good day. Uh, let's see if we can survive round one. Haven't even had the bloody beast attack us yet. Jeez. Jeez. Getting clapped already. All right. <laughs> 500 billion above us. Were we a little bit overly ambitious? We paralyzed you though. Get out of here, Zhao Un. You take that. Take that, huh? <laughs>
Maybe we'll see the uh maybe or maybe we'll see it proc. No, he evaded. But we managed to get one off. And we're probably gonna die now. Unless Sun Jiang does something amazing, which he won't. <laughs> Cause he doesn't have his ultimate. Damn it, game. And I think that's Greedy Guts is doing. All right, <laughs> I think we already know the outcome here, but let's just see if we can survive long enough to see Lu Meng get the, the transfer of HP. I'm looking real close. So the yin and yang, so 30%, has to, he has to drop below 30% HP. And then Big Mama Q takes the damage for the mitigation, from what I understand. Will he do it though? Still got a shield on. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, we killed one. Interesting. Probably the MC, but we killed one nonetheless. I'll take that. I, I classify that as a victory. Oh, he's paralyzed again. I mean, effectively shutting down that, that hero is, is pretty uh pretty crazy. Come on, alluring. Oh she died. She died. Well, we won't be able to see that in action, will we? <laughs> uh, Sun Jiang, of course, being an absolute monster while he can, he, he still can. He's probably going to die this round, though. Oh, wow. I think he got clapped for the reflection. Zhao Eun suicided against the reflecting damage craziness right there. Oh, he's running Sun Jiang, too. I mean, this is kind of like a in very interesting hybrid nation. Would, I would kind of run this too. Um, I mean, Hao Tao would be the only addition that I can think of that I would want to add. Whew. Can we, can we survive this? Can we win? Now that their main sort of quote-unquote DPS is dead, it's going to be like a battle of... Whether or not our Sun Jiang out survives their Sun Jiang. And then... Because Gong Sung's not going to be able to kill him. I don't think. I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> I'm going to go with that. I'm going to speculate there. I don't think Gong Sung... Yeah, well, he's dead. <laughs> so, well, I was right about that. But I'm like, I don't think he's going to be able to kill Sun Jiang. Um, come on. Oh no, Lu Ming. No, Lu. You've got this. You've just got to stay alive long enough. And then we're going to kill Wei Yang. It's not going to happen, is it? <laughs> it's not going to happen. Oh, uh, and that is the game over. But interesting. Very cool. I mean, he wants, he doesn't want to die. He, like, he legitimately just doesn't want to die. He's like, no, not today. And then Zhang Fei is like, not today either, buddy. <laughs> I'm coming back with a vengeance. Uh, this is a long ass fight. <laughs> I mean, he's killing them, and that's crazy to think. I mean, he's paralyzed. That that sort of sucks. And then boom, he just gets one shot. That's crazy. He gets capped. But he he did some did some solid. Look at the stats on that. Wow. I mean, he really came up against them. Um. But yeah, I mean, interesting. Very cool to see that their uh, players are branching out and going with a couple of alternatives. How did Big Mama Q do? Pretty decent, pretty decent. Uh, still, we're not quite getting to see the old uh, transfer. So let's do a couple more fights if we can and then call it a video. But ultimately, a very cool, very, very cool account. Um, I don't, th I think we might have, I think we might have, uh, gotten to the last bit interesting very interesting have you done your um have you done your dailies yes you have <laughs> i'm like have you done your dailies because then we could probably check out that other feature as well um hmm. did you do did you do all of your i think you actually did everything interesting interesting uh where's the other one i was gonna say we could probably try out trials or military debate but i think you've i think you've uh smashed that one did you smash conquest 
challenge. Ah, you've done Conquest 2, of course. Hmm. Very interesting. PvP, we already know that's probably not going to be it. We could check out Warlords class to see if there's anyone uh, up there. If that makes sense. Yours is an interesting power level. What's yours? Is that 6 trillion? Yeah. 2? The magic? Let's fight magic. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Yes, please. Okay. So, again, interesting. Running Gong Sung. Running Gong Sung and running Zhao Un. Trying to go with the old hybrid here with Pang Tong as well as... Uh, I mean, maybe it's technically probably not a hybrid, is it? It's probably just, you know, <laughs> he probably just wants to slide in a hero to replace Oda because sort of like Oda's not that great anymore. Oda's not that great. Like, he's going to die immediately. Like, you already know he's he's going to be dead soon. <laughs> Poor Oda and Mori. I just feel like the game has shifted away from Time Heroes a great deal. And um, I would be curious to see what the next time hero is. I mean, obviously they get stronger and stronger, but they really, it's sort of like the, I mean, if you, if you think of it like this, so your mythic is like six and then your time hero, next mythic time hero is like 6.5 and then your god hero is like seven. So if you like scale it up, it's like you only get like a 0.5 point of a use uh, every time a time hero comes out. Damn it, Lu Ming died. I wonder if the yin yang swaps to another hero. Hmm. I wonder. Maybe. We'll see. That dragon cloud is annoying. <laughs> Iron shackle. Okay, all right, all right. I get that. Again, like, I can't really say that Pang Tong is that great. Of, of all the accounts that I've played with to test it on, I... He's okay. He's average. Um, Mori stayed alive. Interesting. Okay. So Wei Yang didn't get the job done. Can we actually kill anyone though? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> I'm like, come on, game. Give me a give me a chance here. Just a slight chance to see the uh, abilities being showcased. Ugh. All right, well, we already know. The main attraction was trying to figure out whether or not we could get that to proc. We can't. <sighs> difficulties. The difficulties of it. So we want around uh, 2 trillion. We fought a 0 before. 2.5, 2.4. It really is not going to happen, is it? <laughs> In a damn video. But honestly, though, I just wanted to showcase that this is certainly meant for a support hero. Uh, we can read through what it does anyway. But it, it's sort of like it does a HP swap when the, um, the linked hero drops below 30%. Basically, you do like a HP swap, then you do a shield ability... And then you do like a max heal as well. So it certainly is a supportive thing. Now someone was saying that it has like a special ability for the Gen 6. But I, I can't read that anywhere. Like I tried to look through it. And I was like I don't see anything that specifically talks about the Generation 6 heroes. Having like a special ability. Um, but I was in the comment section. So whoever wrote that comment if you're watching. Let me know what you meant by the generation six having like an additional ability with this one because i don't see it as uh like a text feature um maybe you just meant that it's meant for that because of all of the additional things in their passives possibly um honestly man she's gonna be so annoying get it as when you get her to seven stars she's going to be so annoying especially with that allure ability and of course the new weapon all right i think we'll leave it there thank you so much gang letting us jump into your account pretty pretty awesome um i have to say though i mean look la last day to buy this is it worth it i mean if you've already built the generation six mythic hero go ahead would i stick this on another support hero and and see something very similar maybe 
Um, but the only other really support hero that I'd be thinking about would be this guy. And honestly, I mean, Sun Jiang works way better with the Jade Halberd. There's not really a lot of options in terms of who else you would stick this on. Um, one person did ask me, would you stick it on Lu Meng? No, I, I feel like Lu Meng is meant to be a strong DPS. Um, this is a, a great indicator of how you would build him. Uh, because of course he's just he's just going to be the one that finishes off. Sun Jiang and him are the ones that are going to be finishing things off. Um, it's kind of the way that the Wu Nation is designed. If you were going to run like a full functional Wu, I mean you're going to have Sun Luban in there, which is going to be tanking, maybe on her. Um, but again, like it's yeah, test it out yourself trial it out, see if you like it, see what works for you and your account as well. Um, if you haven't already, hit that like, subscribe, notification button. Make sure you thank Old Mate Gang as well in the comment section down below. If you see me on Facebook, add me there. Don't be afraid to say hello there as well. Um, but yeah, until next time.